solve the system of linear equations, 5x plus 3y equals 4, 2x plus 2y equals 1, by using the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix. First step, we put our system of linear equations in matrix vector form. So we'll have 2 by 2 matrix A, a 2 vector X, and another 2 vector B. So X will be our unknowns, B will be the items on the right hand side. Okay, we get our matrix A. I'm just going to take the coefficients off of the equations on the left hand side. So we'll have 5, 3, 2, and 2. Okay, note this only works if I have things organized as so. So the X stuff in one column, Y stuff in the next column. For our vectors, okay, X, we'll just call X and Y. That's what we're solving for. Okay, you should check that A times X gives me 5X plus 3Y, 2X plus 2Y. And then our B vector is just the right-hand side, 4, 1. Now, we want to solve using an inverse. Here's the algebra we go through to justify this. So what we're going to have is, I have AX equals B. So we're going to apply A inverse to both sides. It's going to work from right to left here. Okay, the B picks up an A inverse. The AX picks up an A inverse. But A inverse times A is the identity matrix. And then the identity matrix times any vector just gives that vector back. So we'll have X equals A inverse times B. Next step, how do I get the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix? So let's say I have the matrix A, B, C, D, as so. Formula for its inverse, it's going to be A inverse equals 1 over the determinant. So it's AD minus BC. And then what we do is flip the items on the diagonal, negate the entries that are off diagonal. So we'll have DA and then minus B minus C. In our case, 5, 3, 2, 2. So the determinant is going to be 10 minus 6 gives me a 4. So I have 1 fourth. Then I flip the diagonal. So we'll have 2 and 5. And then I just negate off diagonal, giving me a minus 3, minus 2. We push the minus 4 through, and that gives me my inverse. So we have this matrix here. You should check. So our check is going to be A times A inverse gives me the identity. You could also use A inverse times A equals the identity, but one will be sufficient. So when I do that, we follow everything out. So matrix multiplication. So say we do the entry that gives us upper left-hand corner. It's going to be 5 times a half plus 3 times minus a half. Gives me 2 over 2. Gives me a 1. Okay, the rest works out to get the identity. So that's our check for the inverse. So now I just go and find x. So that's going to be a inverse times b. Okay, our b is 4, 1. When you work it out, what's going to come out? You're going to have 5 fourths minus 3 fourths. So that's our answer. x is 5 fourths, y is minus 3 fourths. Of course, if there's time, you go back and check your answer by putting the x and y that we just found into the original equations. When I do that, we note what's going to come out. We're going to get a 4 and a 1 as promised.